Let's start off with Scott's Miracle Grow. You see how, now this is what I was more or less discussing. <coughs> Our target was this trend line. You see how it literally went straight to the trend line. Now you could argue, well, Eric, it went above the trend line and look. But yeah, then the very next day it went below the trend line. <coughs> so look above and then fail. Now, where do I see Scott's? No, I, I'm not saying I don't like Scott's, right? As a matter of fact, I kind of do like it because it's, it's in play now. It's been boring for months from the low. Now, I'm not clicking, so just bear with me with what I'm about to say. From the low of 139, we are close to the 618 retracement. Very far away from the 50%. Um, we're looking pretty good, right? As in a buy. If you go to the last little pop before, we are below the 618 and we're very close to the 50. Looks like the 50 is right around where the 618, well, a little bit off. It's a little bit below. Maybe about like four, um, a couple points. Um, if it can maintain this level right here, I would prefer it to be above the 166.7 or one six, the 66.71. If we can get above the 66.71, then I am a buyer, but we have to maintain it, right? We can't just do what it did right here and, and, and then go up and then, you know, close below it. We have to maintain it, hold it for like a day or so. And then it's ready to go. Um, I enjoy this stock. Let's put it on there. We got S M G above one six six seven one. Eco Lab looking good, looking good. Um, kind of want to see what happens today. I mean, it, we double topped beautifully. Uh, well almost got close enough to the double top <clears throat> but i'd like to see what do we do from here do we because i don't want to pop in and then we have a five day or four day crunch and then you know like this friday monday or what monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday friday we're on the high bring us all the way down to 31 and then basically friday we pop to another high so do i see us going to 240 or 240 Four eight four four. Yes, I do. Do I want to? Do I want to see what do we do from here? Yes, I do. But I still see target as two forty eight forty four. I see absolutely nothing wrong with Ecolab. Lindell Basel. Yeah, it, it, I mean it's been doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Is just keep on falling. Um, be very careful coming on the twenty six. So four days away from now, we have a dividend. What is in that the 26th? Isn't that Thanksgiving? I could be off. Hold on just a second. I look at the calendar. No, that would be Friday, the 26th. Okay. Now, this week is all screwy. Do not forget that because we got Thanksgiving on Friday or Thursday. And then I think we got like a half a day on Friday. So we got today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday is nothing, and then maybe a half a day on Friday, if not a full day. I always forget how they do the, the holiday schedule, but just keep that in mind. It is a screwy schedule this week, so um, unless you really know what you're doing, you might want to just take the week off. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, so yeah, they, they that was on the 26th, which is Friday. DuPont, looking... All right, I, I, um, pretty soon we're going to be in a, in a squeeze. This is a lot of days squeezing. Uh, I would be more of a buyer, be more inclined to buy if we can hold this 8045, because if you look right here, this high right here, uh, on the 19th, um, is below all this. And then we close below the 8045, which doesn't show, I mean, it's strong, but it's just showing me that it doesn't have enough strength to maintain or to, to take it and hold it. 
So until it can kind of break out of this little cluster right here, I would like it to break out maybe to the 83.17, come back down to the top of here, and then rebuy. Dow. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I kind of like how this, I like how this is, look at that. I mean, this is, they got destroyed on Friday, but they bought it all the way back, which I enjoy. It was kind of like a double bottom. They rebought the double bottom. They were above our teal line. I kind of like this as a speculative trade. Um, yeah, as pure spe speculative. So keep that in mind. We do have dividend risk coming up on the 29th. Um, a week from today, maybe. I'm not going to look at my calendar again. Uh, so yeah, anything above this teal line, 57.13, I would be a buyer. B-A-S-F-Y. Such an unbelievably disappointing company. So disappointing. They don't even have options. So we're, we might have to readjust our portfolio on this one because this is just an absolutely nothing but just poop. That's all it's done. It has not done anything fun, exciting. It has just literally gone straight down since March. Just bleep, 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 bleep. Right? So, kind of like this one right here. We might just need to get rid of him too. Because this is ridiculous. Since May, it was a little bit better than March, Rio Tinto has just gone straight down. So, um, and this is Gap City. So, we, we're going to probably readjust I'm tired of talking about Rio Tinto and BASF. They're kind of like wasted stocks. And they're just dragging the, the overall portfolio down. But if you're short and you're bearish, right? Well, then, hey, hey, Rio Tinto and BASF, just go short. And they're going to continuously pay you forever because they're just terrible. They keep breaking to the downside. The international paper, I'd have to say, is right, right along with them. Right there. This looks terrible. I don't like it. Well, let me rephrase that. We have hit target. We hit target here, 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 here. So if you are a bear, then international paper has paid you handsome, handsomely. Especially if you've been paying attention to me and been like basically just following the lines and following the way down. Because uh, next target would probably be forty-five, fifty-eight. Mosaic was looking great. A couple, I like this move. We had a great little run with Mosaic. Ooh, 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 I like it. I like it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. M O S above. Let's do the yellow line. Three thirty-six oh seven. I like it. We hold this breakout here on our way to the top. Now, I don't know if it's going to be that simple. However, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get in it. I like it right here. Don't forget, we got dividend risk coming up. Seven cents, 12, one. So two weeks from today. No, a week from Wednesday. Sure, win Williams. Everybody loves their paint and they keep on flying high, baby. Yeah. Sherwin Williams is doing you know, they didn't beat on earnings very strong. But yeah, Sherwin Williams, 361 would be target. I don't know how in the world I just got charged $5 for Roku, and that's ridiculous because I thought I took everything off of the Roku. I don't understand. I'm not trying to pay for Roku. Anyways, let's get back to here. I like Sherwin-Williams. This I am a buyer at this price. 